Hello team and welcome to the channel. I'm sure there's a lot of Excel videos out there, including some of my own, that have shared powerful Excel formulas with you. But this video is a bit different because today I'm gonna to try and encourage you to not use a formula and use the keyboard shortcut Control E instead whenever possible. Normally to combine these first and last names, I would use the concat formula Enter text field number one, so employee first name. I can then enter a space in quotations and then employee last name. Hit enter and my names are combined. But there's an even easier way. If I type out the first name one time, click the cell below and then click control E on my keyboard, my job is done. Control E can be used in a lot of other ways as well. Let's take a look at some different examples. In this situation, I have last name comma first name as we often see on our Excel reporting and I'm going to use control E instead of text to columns and delimiter to solve this. I'll enter the first name one time, Kelly, enter the last name Johnson, click the cells below, control E. Again, my job is done. Control E can be used to combine different types of data as well. Here we have your month and day separated. And if I type out one time what the date is or should be, control E, Excel combines the remaining cells. Excel can help you target and separate data within a spreadsheet as well. So let's say in this employee identifier, the last four digits are the employee's birth year. And I'd like to gather that information for reporting. I can enter the year one time in the template and you guessed it, control E and Excel will pull out the rest. For the grand finale team, let's take a look at an example that's a little bit different. I wanna draft a template email to send to employees. And of course, I only have five listed here, but in a real life situation, there might be anywhere from 50 to 100, maybe even more. And I'd like to personalize the email that I'm sending to them. So I can write out the first email, After typing that out, one final time, control E, and Excel adds the employee name to my template so I can easily copy and paste this into my emails. I hope you enjoyed this tip, everyone. Please like and subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.